Welcome everyone, it is good to finally be here on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I know I've been doing some farming simulator live streams for my first few streams, but uh, I've been promising, I've been telling everybody that I'd be here and doing some flight sim and I'm finally, finally here. So thank you all for joining me uh, for my first flight sim stream. We'll see how it's going. It's going to go. I've got had a few issues. Um, it's been capturing the wrong screen, etc. Did have a crash to desktop there as I got everything prepped as well. So hopefully uh, the stream will be live for the entire flight. Can everybody just uh, give me a bit of a sound check, see if it's too high uh, to, in terms of volume? Is the music enough? Obviously when the engines start, we'll see if the engine sounds are too loud. But let's get into the plane. So we're flying the Twin Otter today. Oops. Okay. So we're coming across okay, everybody. Do I need to turn the music up a little louder? And hello there, Sean. Thanks for joining me. Black Adder as well. And DJ Star, thank you for joining. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Black Adder, and thank you, Sean. And thanks for being part of the first uh, Flight Sim stream. We'll see how we all uh, rock along for the first flight. And I can already see Sean is getting his engine warmed up. So a very, very nice place we're at at the moment. We're at Mount Beauty in the high country in the, of Victoria, Australia today. And it's only a very short flight. We are heading out to, I'll get the map up, but we're going to go over to Hotham. Uh, there's a couple of custom uh, points I've got on the flight plan, which we can talk about as we go along for the flight today. And we'll end up over at, I think it is snowy, snowy, snowy range airfield, a, a remote airfield there. So. We'll do a, 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 we'll land at Hotham, then we'll head straight off um, and um, fly over to the Snowy Range airfield. So yeah, super short flight, shouldn't be too long, but uh, again, I think enough for my first flight, for my first uh, live stream of Flight Sim. Okay. Oh, Black Adder, you're loading up now. If you can give me a time period of how long, I'm happy to hold off on heading out until you join. Uh, Why I get the engines warmed up. So let's get the aircraft started. Here we go. No problems. I think we can wait the five minutes probably take me that long to get this bird started anyway i've only flown it a couple of times Perfect. 
Oh, no problem, Sean. I'll have to check that out, but I'm sure I did post it. Sorry about that. I will make sure that's worked out for next time. Yeah, we're not going too direct, but uh, you can definitely... Uh, follow me along. I'll see if I can post the flight plan quickly in the Discord as well. I know it's not direct. Hey BJ, thanks for joining me on my first flight sim stream. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. It's a short flight in the high country of Victoria. It's summer. I have got it set to summer. I am using the Bijan uh, scenery mod, which uh, pretty much does a lot with the fauna and so forth. As you can see, the different colored trees around, etc. So things will be, look a little bit different if you don't have the mod, but I do recommend grabbing it because uh, it is a payware because it does look absolutely amazing. Oh, cool. Thank you, Black Adder. But it's pretty direct. Uh, let me just see if it will pop up in the chat. You can put exclamation mark flight plan. I'm pretty sure I've got that set up. If it's not, I can manually write it in in a moment. Nice big gamer. So kicking back, I think it's even in where you are. It's quite late, isn't it? It's nice and early over here for myself. Thanks, big gamer. <laughs> yes, DJ, you've missed my farming simulator uh, stream, so thanks for dropping in. Alrighty. Hopefully these vans don't get in the way. We're just waiting to see when Blackadder pops in. Oh, Blackadder, you're so right. Absolutely. I think part of the problem with my crash to desktop as well is I've got to learn to take out a lot of my mods, especially the freeware mods, before I do live streams next time. Uh, because I do have a few. I did deactivate quite a few of the Victorian uh, freeware airports that I have and airfields, but uh, I left a few on there, but that's my fault. <laughs> well, let's jump over to my... Let's see, have a look around while we're waiting for Black Adder to join. Let's have a look around at this absolutely beautiful part of the world. So this airfield is part of the uh, update, the Australian update that uh, just came out or just dropped a week ago or so from Microsoft. Uh, there is actually a very nice freeware uh, airport that I was using. I actually used it in one of my recordings. I actually, the reason I'm doing this flight as well from this location is because one of my last flights I flew in my series around Victoria was uh, that uh, it was from here to just Mount Hotham. And that's why the first part of this leg is from Mount Beauty to Mount Hotham uh, or Hotham Airfield because uh, it re goes over uh, the area that I flew to see what changes have been made and pretty much the biggest change for this area of Victoria with the update or one of the big changes was this airfield, uh, which is now I think a custom crafted airfield part of the update. So it's quite nice, very, very nice actually. We've been part of the update, it'd be part of a free update.
Ah, I can see you, Black Adder. I can't see the plane, but I can see. Oh, there you go. It's popped in right now. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's get started. So one of the issues I was having with my capture card is I play on an ultra wide screen and it was uh, on one of the capture settings that I had with Streamlabs, it was very condensed and compressed. Uh, it's definitely fixed up now, um, but uh, for some reason it was very squashed. So you, my whole cockpit was like squashed into half a screen, but hopefully this is sorted and it's looking pretty good for you guys out there. Yep, we're off, we're off, we're, we're going, brakes are coming off, and we are heading off. Now, let's go. Black adders in the air. Again, it's only a short flight. I don't think it'll take much more than an hour. Yeah, the screen's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I know I, on my series for my Around Australia at the moment, which I'm currently in Victoria, if, you, if you've seen or watched any of it, uh, it is all recorded in ultra wide, which is 5k. So, absolutely love it. Obviously, the next best thing before um, VR, I guess. I don't have a VR headset. We've only got two knots of wind on my screen. I'm not sure if you guys are playing. I'm playing live. I'm pretty sure I'm playing live weather. Not live time, but live weather. Okay, let's get this bird into the sky. Probably should have left the hut up for you guys to see the score speeds and so forth, but it, that's okay. I'll get that sorted. And off we go, DJ. Yep, yeah, we're back in the sky. And we're pretty much flying straight out. So look at this. Absolutely beautiful.
We'll just get a bit of altitude. We'll turn back towards the airfield. Turbulence up here in the hills. So I think we head to around seven and a half thousand. I think should get us over most of the mountain range. I like to keep low. Don't want to go too high. We want to see our surroundings. Maybe, maybe even eight and a half. We'll see. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Looks super. All right, we're both in the air. So thank you again, Black Adder and Sean Dale to join me on the actual flight. And uh, let's start heading in the right direction. Yeah, it does look amazing, big gamer. Absolutely gorgeous. Just passing 7,000. We'll pop the cockpit. Don't know if I can jump up a little bit. Might be too high, yeah. It's a bit too high to go up there, so we'll leave it here for now. to get back onto course. So we're just, uh, this uh, area that we're about to fly over, that lake down there is called Lake Guy. It's, uh, what is it? That is uh, the Bugong area. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Very light cloud, co cloud cover. And we're better lower it down, we're at about 8,000 now. Oh, okay, so you're still climbing. Where you at? Where you at, uh, Sean? Let's have a look. Oh, there you are. I can see you in the distance there. Black adder just in front. I do love the Kodiak as well. That's uh, a beautiful aircraft to fly in the sim.
So we're now heading towards Falls Creek. So Falls Creek, absolutely amazing place, but uh, massive ski region, skiing region. Uh, again, we're flying in summer, so we're not going to see the snow. But uh, that's got some huge resorts and all sorts up there. So another beautiful place to go. Let's have a look. Coming up, we're arriving. There it is right there. So we're arriving up there very shortly. And the Rocky Valley storage. The water storage up there. And that's Falls Creek down there. No problems, Black Adder. Thank you for just jumping in to have a flight with me. That's, uh, I appreciate it. Always a few nerves at the start of my streams, but uh, they've settled now. And uh, obviously with the issues I had to get this uh, flight started, I was a bit worried that uh, I would have crashed already, but I've probably just jinxed myself now. <laughs> so who knows what might happen in the next uh, part of the flight. All right, so we are going to turn. So we're already we're halfway through the flight, or just past, uh, on our journey to Hotham. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. We're probably we're at 9,000, so we might we stay about here, I think. The twin otter, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I think uh, that was uh, Mount is it Mount Cope, Co Mount Cope, just underneath us here somewhere. The Mount Cope is right below us. Again, in winter, this is all covered in snow. Now, I would just pop up here and put up the weather and put some snow to show you all, but. Uh, I am a bit worried about the crash of desktop that I was having earlier, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe at the end of the flight, I might pop on, I'll zoom out and I'll pop the snow on, and uh, if it crashes, it crashes. But I'm a bit worried about the crash of desktop at the moment, so I don't want to stress out the system too much. Uh, I have been here, not not recently, I think it was when I was very, very young, um, back in when I was in the school days, um, I have been up in this area. I think if I remember as well, we might have come up here on a school trip, uh, a ski school, a school trip scheme, but I can't recall, it might have been one of the other snowfields, it was some time ago. but it is an absolutely gorgeous part of the world. So now we're approaching Hotham. So here we are. So this is going to be 
Again, another resort with with uh, ski resort uh, and other, I'm guessing, holiday homes and so forth up here in the uh, Alpine region. Such an easy plane or aircraft to fly, this one. Absolutely love it. Well, so far, so good still. Beat, uh, big gamer. No crashes as yet. Seems to be stutter free on my side. I'm hoping on your side it is as well. So I know some of you it'll be Saturday late evening. For me it is Sunday early, early morning. So Hotham Heights, right over there. So we've got it configured. I think this is the car uh, skydiving configuration on the aircraft. And the next location we're approaching is a, another skiing location. Thank you for the feedback, Big Gamer. Yes, that's good. The frame rate is coming through nicely. Thank you. Um, but this is a dinner plane. So another area for avid skiers to holiday or stay in their lodges or holiday homes or just Airbnbs, I guess. There would be quite a lot up here. Quite remote, as you can see. And this is where our airfield will be. So we now are approaching, we better start descending slightly. So we're about 3,700 AGL. Above ground that is. And yeah, we can see the lights directly in front of us for the runway. We could probably do a straight in approach if we can get down quick enough because the wind is in, is a headwind at the moment. So I think Black, Black Adder is already on an approach. Don't know if you can see the lights flashing in the front, but it's pretty much directly just to the right of us. Just on our right.
Look, I think uh, people do both. I think people definitely fly down here, Sean, um, to come down to the airfield. But uh, most people I know who do have, like I know a few people who have uh, all come down to dinner plane that we just flew over, uh, that uh, they drive down, I'm pretty sure. And they drive down quite regularly. Hey Barker, Farming Simulator Sidekick, how you doing? Thanks for dropping in and saying hello. We're just arriving at our first airfield, Hotham. So we just went over my last leg that I've been doing in my uh, flight simulator around Australia trip where we're currently in Victoria. But I wanted, since the update, I hadn't flown here, so I wanted to fly back over. And you did miss it at the start, but you might be able to flick back later they updated the airport or the airfield that we took off from. We're coming in a bit high, but uh, yeah. So we just went over that, but we're gonna have one more leg from here to, uh, I think it's snowy. Oops, I'm coming way too high, but snowy airfield. So we'll see if we can slow ourselves down. And uh, yeah, so let me just try to fix up my high approach here. Coming in slow enough. Now I'm sinking. Yeah, coming in very hot, but we should be able to save this. Just due to the fact that this aircraft is, does float. Oh, we're stalled, we're stalled. We're okay. <laughs> Bit of nerves coming in there for that landing, but I think I'll be able to save us. Alright. Wasn't that bad, bad after all. Alright, we'll just pull in. I think Black Adder's going to head off. But thank you for joining me, Blackadder, and then we'll just re-take off and head to our last destination. Yes, I think we survived that touchdown, Barker. <laughs> how are you anyway? I think you did say, yep, no, nah, you're good. Uh, how is it over there? Is it uh, cold, snow? Uh, I know it'll be super late there. Where you are at. So I don't, I'm trying to think back when I did the flight last time in the area the only thing that may look different at this airport airfield is the building there but i think that was still there it's going to park here i'm going to have a drink of water then we're going to head off again oh i missed the landing sean we'll get it on the next one Thanks, big gamer. I appreciate it. I thought it was late, yeah. Well, I'm expecting my uh, kids to wake up very shortly. I'll probably interrupt the stream. I don't have much privacy in my stream or where my uh, setup is. Okay, so we're going to pretty much head straight off. 
All right, Black Adder, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate just, just your being here. So, uh, I everybody who's here today and watching for my first flight sim stream, thank you. But a big thank you for Black Adder for flying along for my first leg. And uh, Sean and I, hopefully Sean's sticking around and we can uh, finish off the last leg. It's not a huge flight. It was my first uh, live flight sim stream. So, I didn't want to do a super long flight for this one. Uh, but I'm potentially going to continue some of my Around Victoria trip. Uh, obviously, I'll pre-record, I'll be recording some of those legs. And uh, some of them I might actually jump onto live streams like this. You know, a couple of little, because I'm only doing a leg at a time for the detail. So, I'll be able to do a leg or two in each flight plan. Which is good, because it gives us a short flight plan for some people who can't join for super long, you know, out two hour streams or so forth in the flight. So people will be able to just jump on for that, let's say maximum hour, maybe a little bit longer stream. Alrighty, let's, let's take off, let's get out of here. One AM for you, DJ, whoa. Thank you again, Black Adder. I appreciate it. And sorry about being a late starter today. Some of these uh, mods I have loaded, it's like I got the Qantas van here. It's quite funny. Oh good, the flight plan did pop up. It wasn't noticing Streamlabs was doing the auto flight plan, that was good. jammed or something here. Auto brake came on. That's what it was. So if you're just joining, we are currently at Mount Hotham or Hotham Airfield and we're going to head towards the snowy ranges snow range airfield i think it's called to check my flight plan yep snowy range airfield Ah, uh, Black Adder, yes. I just started doing that um, from your request. I know you requested that in one of Oz Flight Simmer's streams. Uh, yes, uh, I. If the last, I think the last one or the, la the the last one or the second last one, I started doing that. It is in my Discord. So in my Discord, I'll post the video. On underneath, I'll post the flight plan of that video. So if you jump onto the Discord, um, which I've, I've just started the Discord not long ago, so still tinkering with it. But uh, yeah, go to the YouTube section for my videos and uh, straight under that latest video, I will have the flight plan.
Yeah, I enjoy making those videos, Blackadder. I absolutely love them, but uh, the biggest problem I find is it's time consuming uh, because obviously on those flights, I want to squeeze them down to a shorter flight. I have to do quite a bit of editing uh, just because I don't want them to be super long, you know, hour and a half or hour, depends what the leg is, the video length. I want to try to get it within, let's say 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Alright, let's get this bird into the air for the last part of the flight today. Very easy to fly the twin otter. It floats, it's like a feather. And there's Sean departing. Thanks, Barker. As I said, this, this aircraft floats. It basically does float. So it's a very easy aircraft to fly. Just wants to go up. Which is hopefully what we want all our aircrafts to do. Except for landing. Of course. <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it plenty of times. All right, so we, are we not as high in this area, or the mountain ranges aren't as high from where we came from, I don't think? Was it very similar? But we'll probably head to again, seven and a half, maybe, maybe eight, and just cruise along. What plane am I looking forward to? Well, I am a, a light aircraft guy, so I do prefer those. So nothing, I don't know. Um, there was, what was, uh, I did see something the other day. Is it the Beaver? Is it called the Beaver? I saw it the other day, I don't know who's making it. But uh, that, I'm looking forward to that. That looks pretty cool. Which comes in all varieties with floats and skis and uh, and general landing gear, but uh, that's, uh, that looks pretty cool. I think it's called the Beaver, I could be totally wrong. But that's probably the one that I'm looking forward to at the moment. Uh, but as, as you know, Sean, there's been lots of GA aircraft being released of late. Uh, I'm not a big airliner person, as you probably noticed from the videos, if you've seen any videos on my um, uh, YouTube. I do like the slow and steady look out the window flights. I have been playing around with Hallies lately, actually. 
again I'm not sold on the idea of using them in the synth or, or for any of my flights I might but uh, yeah I'm not sold on the, the Hallies or the choppers Pronounce the next location or where we're about to fly over. I think it's Wanangata Station, which is coming up. And then we'll do a left leg to our final approach to the Snowy Range Airfield. But again, during the winter season, this is pretty much all snowed up. This is where we have to go in Victoria to go to the snow fields. Doesn't snow in the cities or even close to the big cities. We have to go far and wide to get to the cold or snow or to have a ski. Hit the slopes. Oh, we've gone way over my flight height, so let's bring us down a little bit. Because we're going to be approaching it soon. You sure can, Barker. You can pretty much fly anything. Uh, if you've seen it fly, you've seen it on a TV show, you've seen it in the news, or you've been to an air show, probably the best one is the air show, you can pretty much get anything uh, for the sim. So all the fighter jets are on there, uh, or slowly coming out. Not everyone, everything's been released, but uh, basically there's developers out there that make up or make the content or extra content. For the sim, such as this aircraft, it's made not by Microsoft, it's made by a developer. I think this one is Aerosoft. And uh, yeah, you can, um, you can pretty much get what you want. So I think on one of my flights I was flying the F-18. That was an aircraft released with one of the Microsoft updates. Uh, but uh, there's so many out there. Hey Jacket, how you doing? another farming buddy coming along we are hopefully getting on a farming stream tomorrow in my time um well, everybody's time the next day yeah like a mod that's right but uh, i'm not sure in farming sim if you pay for them um but in there's there is free mods with the flight sim as well so uh, there's actually a lot of free free mods you can get them from flightsim.to I think that's right. Um, and they, yeah, there's lots of free mods out there as well. So mod aircraft, mod halleys, choppers, fighters, whatever you want, they're out there. Uh, but uh, for the really detailed aircraft, there is some really good free ones, I will say. I've flown, I've flown quite a few. But um, the paid ones, they're not all of them, but uh, most of them are a, a lot more detailed than what you get with the free ones. Oh, okay, cool. So, no free on farming. You can pay for some too. Alrighty, so I did end up going a lot higher than I wanted. You're probably down below, Sean. No, you still, you've caught up. You're still there. I actually, I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it yet, Jacket, but I did see uh, it there. So after the stream, I'll check it out. No, sorry. It's, <laughs> you know what, Sean? I've, it's IO. I'm pretty sure it's IO. I always get confused. I think on a couple of my videos, I... Uh, uh, in my, I said, Ted, you can go pick this uh, aircraft, not this one, uh, but in some of my videos I'll commentate and say, you can go pick this one up at flightsim.to. I think it's IO, is it, or TO? Uh, 
Too bad one of the other uh, guru, flight sim gurus uh, aren't on at the moment. They could definitely fix and uh, straighten me up with that one. I'm just trying to... It is Tio. Tio. It is Tio. Sorry, I was just... Uh, I flicked onto my other screen. <laughs> To, uh, just to make sure and confirm that I had that uh, right, so it is Tio. Ooh. Oh. Hey, Stu, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Watching the last leg, we're just gonna, we're about to come in for an approach at the snowy range airfield, um, which I am quite high at the moment. But uh, beautiful area we are flying in, absolutely stunning. So we're in the high country of Victoria, or pretty much the Alps, but uh, of Vic in Australia. And this in winter is normally full of snow. Absolutely beautiful part of the world. I'll not go down too much. Hey, and greetings to you, Phoenix, as well. I'm doing absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And thank you for joining me on the flight today. First flight's in flight for me. Uh, on live stream. Oh, there we go. Sean Dale. Here we go. If you are, uh, I know there's a few of you don't play Flight Sim on the stream at the moment. So you can have pretty much unlimited, well, you can have unlimited flying with you, but the Sim doesn't sh represent everybody in multiplayer. There is a limit that it gets to, obviously, for bandwidth wise. But uh, yeah, you can, you can fly with, you know, quite a few people. So, Sean's flying the Kodiak today. Great stew. Absolutely amazing. All right, well, I think we're getting close. So this is our Wanangada station. We've just flown over. So right below us, actually. There we go. A beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Alrighty, so trying to sort of get my bearings and see where we're at, but we are definitely approaching uh, our area. Let's go the map up. Oh, not the weather. Where are we? We definitely are close to our destination. So we're about five, so we actually are, it is higher here than where we took off from Hotham. We are five, oh no it's not as high, sorry. We are about just over 5,000 AGL at the moment. Now I'm guessing, I'm going to have to do a flyover of the airfield because I'm not sure, I haven't landed here before actually. This is a first for me. So it's probably directly on the, in this area. Where are we? No.
fill a bit out. Looks like Sean's found the airfield okay, not me. <laughs> I'll follow you in Sean if you found it. Yeah, I think I will, uh, Black Adder. I think, um, well, let just start. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of those times yet. Oh, there we go. I can see the airfield now. I don't know why I was struggling to see where the airfield was directly in front of us. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I don't exactly know what those times will be yet. So I'll work those out, but I will post them in my Discord. So this is the last airport or airfield for the leg and we'll finish up but uh, as I said when I land I'm going to throw up the snow and zoom out so you guys can all have a look at what this area looks like with some snow which is the main a big reason why a lot of people come up to this area. Hey, Toasty! Nice to see you. Thanks for dropping in. You're catching the end of it, but that's okay. Coming in a bit high, but I think we'll be okay. As I said, this uh, plane seem, tends to float a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Little bit rough there. Had a bit of a crosswind, but not much. We'll just take a bit of a shortcut. Cross the grass. Oh, Stu, you've joined. That's all right, Stu. What you can do is uh, I'm going to put some snow on in a minute. Um, you can stay, if you stay in the air, I'll come and join you, if, um, just for a bit of a flight around the area with snow so we can look at it and then we'll land back here. I've got a few minutes up my sleeve so we'll take off again and we'll just do maybe a couple of circuits. Oh, that's a shame. The AI aircraft are sitting there and Sean's just rammed into it with his amazing looking Kodiak. Let's park here for a minute and I'm going to turn some snow or we'll just put the weather up to see how we go. Now where is it? I see, there he is. Oh, you've disappeared, Stu. 
I think you're still there. It's just sort of maybe because we're so close. But we'll do a circuit, Stu. I'm happy to have a circuit with you if you're still here. Uh, and we'll have a circuit around the airfield. We Let me just go throw some snow on. So this is what it looks like. If we throw some snow in too. There we go. Well, let's say heavy snow, yeah? We'll go some heavy snow. So for people who are on the stream and haven't seen Flight Sim or haven't played Flight Sim or not played Flight Sim, but simmed with Flight Sim, uh, you can actually change pretty much all the weather types. And it is live weather most of the time, not always perfect, but uh, we did fly with live weather on. But I've turned that off so I can show you the snow. So obviously you can put a lot heavier snow which covers the air, the runway a little bit, or you can bring it back for some light snow. So let's have a bit of a fly around with some light snow. Looks quite nice. Leave it like that. And we'll have a circuit. Let's go. And then we'll call it an end to the stream. Oh, look at the van. It's going to hit me. Okay, what have we got? Oh, there's no wind. Obviously, I've got it currently as no wind, so we can head down this way, uh, skew, and we could. Oh, I'm gonna hit ya! <laughs> um, we're gonna head this way, and we're gonna head off from the runway at three six. Oh yes, it would be clear for you. Yes, 100% I know. Um, hey Gaming Dad, thanks for joining me. Long time though here as well. Been watching your channel and some really good content on there, so it's good to see. And I hope you're doing well and it's not too cold where you are. At. But I'm guessing very late. <laughs> Father, <laughs> you're a classic jacket. <laughs> All right, let's head off. And thank you so much, Sean, for flying with me on my first flight sim flight. There'll be plenty more to come. Hopefully, we can get a few of the others on with us. Uh, to join us on our flights on our flights around Australia and other parts of the world as I get there oops, here we go, we're off don't know if I have there you go so that's what this area looks like with light snow We'll just do a couple of circuits around the airfield, then we'll land again, and we'll end the stream. But again, a big shout out to Black Adder and Sean and uh, Stu, who's just joined me live. You can see him taking off over here. A little bit hard with the white snow, but he's there. And if uh, you are, haven't played Flight Sim before, I know there is a few of you in the chat that haven't, or this version of Flight Sim, uh, you can see live, uh, or live track, this is other online players at the moment that are flying around. We've got Prince over there, I think he's in a 7-4, I think I saw it come up in the uh, 7, not sure, but I can't see. 
7.4, yep. And, uh, yeah, so you can fly with quite a few people on mine. So just a short flight everybody, we have finished the flight but I wanted to, Stu joined in late and I wanted to go on a bit of a circuit and show you with the snow in the area because I've been flying with live weather and it's summer in Australia or this area of the world in, uh, in Victoria in the uh, high country and uh, so there's no snow but I put some snow on so everybody could see what this looks like because it's a main reason many people come up to the area So I've just got light snow cover at the moment. So if we go and add a bit, so there we go. That's heavy, a little bit of heavy snow cover there. Yes, I did see, I, I, for some reason I couldn't see the 8, but yes, I, I knew it was a 7.4 something. Ah, glass of red, G-Dad. Exactly what I like. I think I meant to have that on. So we're flying the Twin Otter everyone and uh, we've just come, we started off at Mount Beauty up in the uh, high country of Victoria and we flew to Hotham and uh, which Hotham which again is a ski resort uh, and then we headed to the Snowy Range Airfield where we are now to finish the leg. It's my first flight, Oh, there we go, some formation flying with Stu. And we were flying, it's summer in the area, so we weren't flying with the snow cover, but uh, at the end of the flight, I've thrown some snow on there, so we can see what that is like. Yellowtail, good old yellowtail. Nice stuff, G-Dad. Oh, thank you so much, Sean. Highly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That is unbelievable, and I appreciate it. And you didn't have to do it. You did not have to do that. Just being part of my first flight is was was a gift to me. So you've been part in the flight and flying with me. So I didn't really advertise it. I didn't advertise it anywhere or on uh, just some Aussie f gamers or or Oz flight sim site or anything. I just. Um, pretty much advertised I think early or late last night my time and it was glad that you could come along and to have three of you here who are regular I know you guys regularly fly together uh, on other stream sites such as Oz Flight Simmer and the others so it's thank you thank you so much for just being here And we're just flying a couple of circuits around the airfield here because I wanted to show the snow off, but uh, also that uh, I wanted to fly with Stu because Stu was late to the stream, but uh, I couldn't miss a small flight with him. So I have uh, pre-recorded 
as I said before, I hadn't landed at this airfield, uh, but I had taken off from this airfield. So I have recorded, so my next leg in my journey on my Around Australia journey, which we are now up to, uh, the Snowy Range Airfield. Now I've already flown in all of Tassie, but that was obviously before the update. So we are at Arbuckle Junction, I think is just to our left. And uh, yeah, so continuing on from my flight, we I have done a recording for from Snow Range Airfield all the way down to where did I go to Latrobe Valley? I think it is. Yes, Latrobe Valley Valley, which is will be my next leg, which should come out probably early during the week, which is a pre-recorded one. So we'll take it in for landing now, Stu. Toasty, you know what? The same. Absolutely, I've, I've only, this is my third stream and I absolutely love it. Uh, just having people there to chat with as you, as you fly, well in this fly around or in farming sim as we're harvesting the latest crops uh, and just having a chat with all of you. It's, it's, it's a it's a it's a blessing it's it's great i love it um so and just content in general on on youtube that i make it's all for fun so i love either simming in a flight sim or simming in farming sim or all the other uh games which i'm obviously playing at the moment a couple of production management sims uh, or production management games and uh what else am i playing at the moment the Warfare Battle Simulator, the Naval Warfare Simulator. I just do it for fun. I love it. I love gaming. I love simming, and that's why I do it. Thank you, Gaming Dad. I appreciate it. Uh, yes, I think I have settled in now. It's third stream. You missed the start. I had some. Uh, technical issues at the start but we got it we overcame those uh it was crashing to desktop and uh of getting the wrong screen resolution etc on the sim uh not on the sim the sim was fine sorry it was coming across on streamlabs as really scrunched up screen so that's fixed up but my first stream which was the farming sim episode uh that was a bit nerve-wracking but uh no i'm all good now Yes, Sean, I have seen that. I haven't played it, but I have seen it. I do want to get into a few more warfare simulators of some sort. Not not full on strategy, but uh, I know turn based and so forth. I do like some of those, but they're not really good for streaming. Uh, but um, I could make some videos on them. But uh, that command modern operations, I have seen it. Yes. All right, so we're just gonna turn and just come in for a landing. We're not gonna follow any procedures or anything for this landing and just come in. There's only a two knot crosswind and we'll finish off the stream. So do you, Sean, so do you play anything else other than, I'm guessing Command Modern Operations, but other than, uh, any other games do you play or any other sims? I lost you, Stu. Where are you? Have you logged off? You might have logged off, Stu. A big shout out to Stu as well. Uh, I didn't capture on my last stream, but um, Stu did 
donate as well. For some reason, my Streamlabs, I couldn't, didn't know how to work out. Uh, he donated through Buy Me A Coffee. And uh, a much, much appreciated, Stu, if you're still there. I know I've spoken to you outside of streaming, but uh, a big thank you for your donation. You guys don't have to do that, but I much, much appreciate it. You're at the back of me. Oh, down the bottom. Ah, There you are. Good. You're still there. So a big, big shout out to you, mate. And thank you, thank you um, for that donation in the last farming simulator stream. That was a solo stream. Let's move towards the airfield. We've got to get down a little bit as well. Ah, uh, yes. Truck simulator. Yep. So you're a farming sim person as well. Pro cycling manager. That sounds interesting. I've got to check that out. So I haven't got this fully set up, but this is... Uh, don't know if this is going to work. Streamlabs. All right, let's see if this works because it may not. This is a big shout out to Stu and Sean for the donations on my last couple of streams. Did it work? I'm not sure if that is working, everybody. Yes, it is. So it's a big shout out to you guys and thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for those donations. And again, you don't have to do that. Um, but I appreciate it. And it all will go towards more content uh, for the channel. Thanks, Toasty. I appreciate it. Yes, Sean, you're right. I see that uh, we all support each other, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, very the the flight sim community seems to be very, very close knit. I know that I haven't probably communicated too much in voice chat, etc., in the chats when I have logged on to flight sim streams or any of the streams, uh, the flight sim streams. Letters and uh, just some Aussie gamer and Brett streams in the flight simming streams. So the other creators on here that are watching, or the the group that I'm in with creators, uh, the flight sim has a very strong community um, and. They all support and stick together, but uh, yeah, so they're fantastic. Everybody seems to really support each other. And just have fun. I think that's the biggest one, isn't it? Just have fun. Black Adder, Black Adder, thank you, thank you. You don't have to do this. Guys, stop it. <laughs> It's only my third stream, <laughs> but um, I appreciate it uh, so much. So, so, so much. All right, we bring this bird into land. It's just sort of floating around here, but thank you. Thank you. And I'm gonna see if the fireworks work again. Blackadder, thank you. 
Whoa! You're a legend. Absolute legend. You're all legends. Anybody's joining me for the flight, but again, for the donations from Blackadder, Sean and Stu, absolutely appreciate it. There you are, Stu, up in the air. I'm coming into the approach down, Stu. I'm not sure if you want to follow, but you might want to just continue flying around this beautiful area of Victoria. Like always, coming in way too high. We should be okay. What are we at? 6,700. Yeah, we are way too high, but we might be okay. So if you weren't on a bit earlier, I am playing on a super widescreen, so I was a bit worried. Uh, so it's an ultra widescreen, so I was a bit worried that coming through on the stream it wouldn't look that good, but um, I'm quite happy with how it's come up uh, on the stream. Got a bit of snow on the runway, coming in a little high. Sean Lasso, thank you for joining me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I was looking at the chat screen and I wasn't watching landing, so I've come in way too high. We might be still okay. There we go. Wasn't butter, but it wasn't terrible. And there's Stu for the flyby. Whoa, go for it, Stu. <laughs> nice one. And look, can you park it? Pa oh, nice. We're a few buildings, but that doesn't hurt anybody. Yeah, I'm wrapped that it's come through. Okay, Sean, absolutely wrapped. So the bus is waiting for us to take us to the ski slopes. I don't ski. I've skied, but I don't ski. I've skied in my younger life, uh, but uh, I don't ski. So you'll just have to take me to the resort. I'll enjoy, with Gaming Dad, I'll enjoy, whoa, 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 where are we going, bus? Uh, I'll enjoy a glass of bread in front of the fire and enjoy the warmth of the fire at the resort while watching everybody ski down the slopes. Alrighty. So let me 
shut down some now I don't even know if I have set up correctly but this won't go to <laughs> close down flight sim if I uh, power down What a beautiful aircraft. Absolutely beautiful. You can actually, I'm pretty sure, I have actually haven't tried this. I should keep the power on for a sec, before I shut power off. I'm pretty sure I can open some of these doors. I think I can. No? Oh yeah, we can open the front door. Open the side door. I'm sure there's a way of opening this. But, I will just jump out. Are you still around, Stu, or have you gone off? Let's have a quick look around. Thank you, Gaming Dad, for that. It has been a beautiful, short, but sweet flight. No hiccups. I thought there was going to be hiccups. I thought I might have... Uh, had a couple of super rough landings, and uh, but everything went to plan. So everybody out there on or viewing right now, thank you so much for joining me today for the flight. I absolutely appreciate all of you who joined and watched. And a big, big shout out for everybody who's donated today. Sean Blackadder and Stu who donated on my last stream but I was not able to announce that because it didn't come through but thank you all throw up some fireworks for every single one of you for the support and everyone have a beautiful beautiful I think most of you are evening but if it's the day have a beautiful day have a beautiful morning and uh, have an enjoyable rest of the weekend and I will see you all, hopefully all of you, every single one of you, on the next next flight. On the other side, as I finish my videos off, or please watch some of my other content. I'll be much appreciated if you like it and enjoy it. But just jump in and have a chat. I think that's the most important thing. I love having a chat to all of you. And I love showcasing the flights that I'm doing at the moment and farming sim. <laughs> Thanks, Stu. <laughs> uh, but I think I will be doing a stream. So I better just shout that one out. We are doing a stream, I think, my time uh, or similar time that this stream was on. We're doing a stream tomorrow. And that will be flights, uh, not flight sim again. That will be farming sim. We've got some crops to harvest. Our oats, are, <laughs> our oats are ready for harvesting. So I am pretty sure uh, Barker Gaming and jacket will be both on with me and we'll be doing a big harvest hopefully we can get together and do that so i'll see you all there if you're there otherwise i'll see you all on the next flight sim stream or in one of the other great content creators streams thanks all and i'm going to sign out and i'll see you all on the other side thank you Thank you. Oh.